Hello and welcome to another Vita 3K video. Um, yeah, I think the mic's fine. Mate. So we're going to be setting up the PS4 controller. It can be any PS4 controller. It could be the old one where you don't have the light, you know, there as well. That's the easy way to tell. Or the new one, which is the one I've got that has the light as well. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to show you how to connect the PS4 controller to your Windows machine so you can use the on Vita 3K. And um, pretty cool. And there's two methods. Wired or wireless, wired, you use a micro USB cable, connect it, connect it to your PC, boom, done. It's, it's as simple as that. Wireless, you need Bluetooth, but that is good because it means that you don't need any extra dongles if you've already got Bluetooth. I mean, if you don't have it, it is an extra dongle. It's a few quid, it's a few dollar, dollars, it's cheap, and it means you can use it on other controllers and peripherals as well. So let's get this hooked up wirelessly because like I said, wired is just a Simple plug and play, and even wireless is plug and play. So just open up Bluetooth. And what you want to do is go to add Bluetooth or device, or you can use the old school menu, which you may see if you're on an older system, is you go to device and printers, add a device, and that goes into the you know scanning mode. So if we click that, before we click Bluetooth, let's put this into pairing mode. To do that, you press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time, and for a few seconds, and then this light will start flashing. And you'll see it momentarily. There we go. It is now flashing. And if we go to Bluetooth, it'll appear here. Wireless controller, not, not this one. Wireless controller. And click done. That's it. We're, we're all good to go. And to confirm that it's actually connected, I always like to go to here, search for game. You want to go to setup USB game controllers. And if it appears there, and if you go to properties, if it detects the inputs, we're all good to go. Now we can just go and open up Vita 3K. I'll put the volume up a bit. Click close. And if you want help actually setting Vita 3K up, I've got a separate video. I'll put a link to that in the description. Go to controls, controllers, it's detected it, that's it. You can't remap the controls, unfortunately, but it's done. And if I launch up, you know, my name is Mayo. Uh, so let's just let this game load up. And with the analog stick, I can move the hand, which is the usual configuration. Triangle, take me to menu, and I can press circle for music on and off. Triangle to go back. And if I hover over the mayo jar and press X, there we go. I think at 100 we'll get a trophy. Oh, at 75 we do get one. We should get another one out of 100, I believe. Did we? Yep, young boy. That's it. The PS4 controller is one of the easiest ones to set up for you know two simple reasons. One, it's plug and play, and two, there's not really any sort of ambiguity in terms of which controller version do I have. All PS4 controllers work like this: wired plug and play, wireless, you know, wireless plug and play. Whereas with Xbox, depending on which one you got, it can be plug and play, which is kind of which is kind of crazy that. But again, we are talking about multiple generations, so I guess it's not a fair comparison. But even in Xbox One, it's not directly plug and play, depending on what devices, which one you have. But that's it. That's how you connect your PS4 DualShock 4 controller to your Windows machine to use it on the Vita 3K for PlayStation Vita games. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Vita 3K channel in the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And I'll put links to everything else you'll need for this video. Really, in this one, the only other thing you would need is setting up Vita 3K. So I'll put that in there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.